Mumbai KSA 2025 aspirants. So I hope all of you are preparing really hard and well for the exam for the big day that is your KSA 2025 examination. And remember, chemistry is a game changing subject and it is one of the most easiest subject to score, right? So in this video, I'll be giving you a detailed strategy how you can score 50 plus out of 60 in KSA chemistry 2025. So I'll be giving you the exact timetable, the resources, what mistakes you should be avoiding, what are the things that you should do in organic chemistry, in organic chemistry, physical MS chemistry, everything I'll be giving you in detail. So please watch this complete video if you want to secure 60 out of 60 in KSET chemistry. So coming to the first thing that what all things we have in today's video, my dear children. So today first I'll give you a study plan. How are we going to divide this uh, next uh, whatever dates are left? Then I'll give you the most important topics. After that, we'll talk about how to deal with physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry. After that, a study timetable, then best resources that you should be following and then how I can help you in your journey of 60 of uh, like 50 plus out of 60 in case it chemistry. Okay. Fine. Now moving to the first thing that is 25 day strategy. So today is 20th of March from tomorrow if you start. So from 21st, sorry. So from 21st to 25th or you can roughly take up to 26th March, you have to just focus on the PU2 chapters and you have to do two chapter per day. So why I'm saying PU2 is please remember from PU2 syllabus alone, you will get 40 plus questions. Okay, so just rest 10 question will be like we our target is 50 plus suppose 42 questions you can say is easily you will get from PU2. So the rest 8 questions, 10 questions for that we need PU1. So first we should focus on PU2 chapters and how many chapters are there in PU2? We have 10 chapters in PU2. So at least 2 chapters per day if we focus then we can complete it. You can extend it up to 26th also. Okay, fine. That is fine. 21st, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26 is also fine. Next from 26th if you are doing it on 26th then it will become 27th. So 27 to 3rd or 4th of March you have to focus on PU1 syllabus one chapter per day because you have also physics and maths. So you have to just focus on one chapter per day. Okay, and you have to revise the PU2 chapters at this point of time. Then lastly from your uh, I can say here it will be from 4th of March to 15th of March or I can say 5 to 15th, you need to focus on revision and you have to attempt at least 7 tests. Okay, clear this timeline is clear. I hope if you have a calendar, please put down the days and write down this one. Okay, now moving to the uh, phase one where we are going to do PU2 syllabus. So please start with organic chemistry because it has a lot of reactions to remember. And if you uh, complete it first, then you'll get more time to revise that, right? So first organic chemistry, then do physical chemistry and then do orga inorganic chemistry. So five chapters here, three chapters here and two chapters here, right? So first select one organic chemistry chapter, revise the concept, watch one shot videos. I have already provided in our channel KSET master stroke series, all one shot videos are available for PU2. So you can watch that. Then just prepare the short notes. What all important things I'm telling, just prepare a short note. Do last 10 years of previous year questions and exemplar questions. After that, write a small test of 20 to 30 questions and then start the next chapter. Then this cycle you have to complete. Now, if you want to study some chapter in detail, you don't have any like uh, don't have a proper base, you want to make the base strong. So I have made a very good series along before we have started this one score 60 out of 60, where all the chapters we have covered in detail. Okay, so it is not one shot for every chapter, you will get three to four videos. If some important chapter like solutions, kinetics with previous year questions, case it, it is there, this playlist is already available, you can check here, all the chapters have been done in detail and also questions practice is there in between you can do in this way as well okay so watch it in 1.5x so that your speed will increase okay next coming to 
when we are going for PU one syllabus, what exactly we have to do? Just we have to take a select the high weightage chapter. I'll give you the list of high weightage chapters. Then revise the concept and one shot. So okay for PU one also one shots will be given very soon. Do not worry. After that you have to prepare short notes for that, and then you have to do last ten years of previous year questions. Apart from this, do not have to do much question practice for PU one. Focus on last ten years of PYQs and preparing a good short note so that during the exam you can revise it quickly. Okay. Uh, next, from fourth of or fifth of April to fifteenth of April, we have only revision and mock test, right? So we want to, we will be writing full length papers. You will be doing in exam conditions. You have to write it. After that, whatever questions you have got it wrong, you have to analyze those mistakes and you have to maintain an error notebook where you will write all the wrong questions in a sequence, right? So today, test one, this this questions got wrong. Write down the questions that got wrong, and while revising, you need to revise those questions. And whatever concepts you find that is weak, you are doing it uh, wrong uh, repeatedly. Just revise those concepts again. Now here we have to maintain an error notebook. Keep a track of your marks in the test series. Attempt at least three to four. But I'll say for chemistry, you can at least go for five to seven full-length test papers. Okay. Now test series plan is there. So means your dates for appearing the test. So fifth one, seventh, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, and fourteen. So I have given a gap here, a gap here, and from here onwards, you can just one hour a day, right? You can easily attempt one test per day. So just please go here because chemistry is very very important. Now a question may arise like, ma'am, from where we will get the test series? So I have the best answer for you. We have our Abhyas K C 2025 test series. So I have been telling many times this test series is the best test series that you can have in the market at this point, at this price, especially 1498 rupees. You will get 35 mock tests for physics, chemistry, maths, and bio, and there will be one shot revision videos. You will be getting live doubt clarification classes and detailed video solutions. Okay. Apart from this, we. We will also be giving you chapter-wise insight for last five years of questions. Everything will be provided, so please do not worry. In our YouTube channel, also it will be provided. So if you want to boost your preparation, please do buy this one. Registration link will be there in the description section. Please go there, register, and then download the Novo portal, and you can access the test series. Okay, fine. After this, let me tell you the most important topics from PU one. So these yellow highlight. So PU two, all the chapters are very important because there are only ten chapters, and I can say you that from per chapter you can expect three to five questions. Okay, so none of the chapter is uh, I'll say less important. But yes, solutions, electrochemistry, kinetics, aldehydes, coordination. From here you can expect five questions, and here I can say you can expect three questions like that. It is there. Okay, so these are the list of PU two chapters, and in PU one when you start, that is from your I told you from 26th or 27th of March. When you start the PU one, please start with chemical bonding. Okay, or you can do this two chapters. That is GOC, hydrocarbons, equilibrium, and thermodynamics. These are the important chapters. So please focus on these chapters first. And here you can see the number of questions that you can expect from these chapters. Okay. After this, I'll tell you how to study inorganic chemistry. So in inorganic chemistry, I'll request you. There are only two chapters, right? So please read NCERT line by line. Please read the NCERT. You still have time. If you just spend uh, one and half hour and something, you can read the NCERT completely line by line. Please, for inorganic chemistry, read NCERT line by line. Then. Reasoning based questions or any trend you find or anything that is uh, any trend is given, please note that. Then highlight the important exceptions if you find. Solve NCERT exemplar questions. This is very important. Whichever questions you got wrong, please mark them. Prepare a list of trends and exceptions and reactions. So I, uh, if you have seen the. I have made a video. It will be, I think, coming soon. Top 30 questions from uh, DNF blocks. There are so many reactions which is actually not there in the book, right? But when we solve those questions, if we encounter certain reactions which we have not studied, please note it down. Okay. Next, importance to colors. This is very important in. Uh, Your DNF block chapters: green color compound was formed, green oily liquid was formed, yellow color precipitate was formed. So you should have an idea of the colors so that you can know the products easily. 
okay so that is how you should manage inorganic chemistry physical chemistry no need to read the ncrt at all you can just watch the one shot videos make a note of important formulas solve numerical without calculator this is very important because in case at examination there is no calculator provided and try to speed up your calculation by using approximate technique okay so means you should try to round off the numbers and do the calculation so try it by your own in all my videos also i'll be providing you i'll be telling you how can you approximate but try to do by it your own and check whether you're getting the correct answers or not okay next mark the questions unable to solve and retry them if any new formula you get at any formula which you have not studied before those formulas also you should note down so for physical you can skip ncrt book coming to organic chemistry here also you don't have to uh, read the organic uh, chapter uh, in detail like full book what you can do is you can show you the 60 out of 60 series right there you can go and i have made the flow chart for all the reactions you can just prepare the flow charts and start uh, doing or revising these flow charts then you can make a list of all the name reactions and reagents then you can practice the conversion questions in ncrt every chapter there is conversion questions right so practice those conversion questions i have also made a video on that so you can practice this conversion questions and it will help you to remember the reactions well okay you don't have to mug up if you do these conversion questions again and again all the reactions you can easily remember okay next we have here study timetable so starting from tomorrow, I'll give you two chapters. As I told you, start from organic, haloalkanes and haloarenes, alcohols, phenols and ethers. So roughly, I think this will take one and two, four hours you can spend, two hours, two hours, okay. Next, this is a big chapter. So I want you entirely spend three to four hours on this particular chapter. Next day, then 23rd, amines and biomolecules, again, three. So I'll just write down here. Here you can spend uh, five hours, okay. Here you can spend, I think, again, four hours. Here, two to, again, four hours. Solutions and kinetics, four hours. Electrochemistry, two hours. D block and coordination, again, four hours. Okay. So, every day you can just take this chapter accordingly and up to 26th of March, you can complete the PU2 syllabus. Next, after that, GOC, this chapter is important. You can spend three hours. Hydrocarbon, three hours chemical bonding 3 hours, thermodynamics only you have to remember the formulas and do questions. So 2 hours, equilibrium 2 hours, periodic properties and redox 2 hours, structure of atom and some basic principles here also 2 hours. So just divide your time accordingly and give the chapters their weightage and study them. Okay. When you study the chapter, you have to do the concept. One, you watch my one shot videos, then you do uh, the previous year questions for all the chapters, previous year questions, our uh, videos are available. Try to solve them first uh, by your own and then watch the video. And after that, wait for top 30 MCQs, which I'll be solving. You can just do once you're completed, you can solve those questions as well. Okay, next study resources, first NCRT, no doubt there's no compromise on this and you have to read NCRT for inorganic chapters, okay. And then I told you this master stroke series is there for in our channel where we are providing the one shot videos for all the chapters. So already PU2 all the chapters are done, PU1 videos will also be coming from day after tomorrow I think, so you can follow that. After this, we have for previous year questions, you can follow Disha book. There is one more book also which I forgot to mention. MTG book is also very good. You can take this as well and do the questions. Okay. Next, we have for mock test, you can take MTG or our Abhyas KSI 2025 test series. I have already explained you. It is really a very, very good product. You can buy it. And the best price is if you take uh, our Abhyas test series and you get below 1000 rank, then you can win up to 1 lakh rupees. Okay. So that is why it is something a motivational also so please do give a try and attempt the test okay uh, next coming to how will Diksha Karnataka or especially me because this is chemistry how will I be helping you so we also have as I told you we have relaunched our KSET master stroke series where you will be getting one short uh, chapter lectures for all the chapters then here you will be getting also top 30 MCQ videos we'll be doing where these MCQs will mostly consist of PYQs, not only PYQs plus other expected questions, other most expected questions, okay. So I'm, I'm just analyzing last 10 to 15 years of papers and then I'm trying to frame 
uh, questions a little bit on the harder side so that you if any uh, difficult question come in the exam you are not afraid you can still tackle them so the question paper that this top 30 mcqs that i'm making is really really good please do follow it so if you haven't subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel right now because you can get the notifications of all our videos so here is a small schedule this we have already discussed in please join our whatsapp channel you will be getting all the links there so please join the whatsapp channel you can see the uh, entire i can say syllabus or the schedule here of the classes okay so yes students that is all about k set chemistry 60 out of 60 and i truly believe if you haven't studied anything and if you start from today with full focus with full dedication and with the strategy that i have shared with you definitely you can get 60 out of 60 at least 50 plus is definitely easy for you people if you work hard from right now so do not repent if you haven't studied start from today right now that you are going to do if you are in in this please put in the comment section that you will get 50 plus out of 60 in case at chemistry and any other help you required from my side please do let me know i will definitely provide you whatever you require for your preparation okay so that's my commitment and show me your commitment by putting that in the comment section 50 plus in chemistry right so that's all students and uh, i will see you in the next video hope that you prepare hard and study hard for this last 25 days students the next milestone after that we all can chill but yes this 20 25 days let's work hard let's put our 100 percent efforts right see you soon